Hey friends. So, I've been reflecting a bit since my um, call with my coach yesterday. Had a good conversation with Katie. And I woke up this morning kind of in a place of Well, I think feeling like I'm watching a familiar pattern play out again, which is never that fun. Um, and I sense, and I have sensed this before, and I think the last couple of days, or the last, you know, 24 hours, a couple key insights that came out of certain conversations have pointed me back in the direction of seeing a sense of like, helplessness, a learned helplessness, maybe, which again, you know, it's so, it's kind of really tough to look at and uncomfortable to admit, but sort of undeniable or, or sort of um, unavoidable if I'm really serious about making movement and, and letting go of this pattern. So that's kind of where I woke up was just a sense of Why do I have so much trouble um, diving in? And then something that came up as I was sitting in meditation was a kind of violent fantasy not a not one not one I'm gonna act on realize I'm posting this on the internet and not one that's even like a thing I, I, that I would go do it's it was just a, it was like I and I, I've talked about this before I I'll have um, these dramas like it's like I play a drama in my mind and then I get to heroically be violent and what I sense so then where this where this is, has taken me where I think this is a um, an awareness potentially an awareness building insight is that I do sometimes sense that by asserting myself in the in the world in the way that I clearly am aching to that I might injure other people that I might hurt someone else someone close to me and you know, I was kind of talking about something, not not this, but, but something separate, but related last night uh, with Katie and, and 
I was just looking at the question of, you know, where this might come from. And she was the one to say, well, maybe you don't need to know where it comes from. And that, that is what immediately flashed for me was, oh, yeah. If this is a karmic issue, I don't need to identify like where in my life it came from. It could have come from memories that I have no access to. It could have come from literally past lifetimes. There are things that I carry that feel as though they are here almost eternally. And I can look at the imprint of them on other members of my family. And it's not identical, but it's similar enough to say, this feels like a family thing. Not, so, not like my other family members have imprinted me with this, although that's also possible, but, at, but more like a shared inheritance thing. And I think having just spent some time up in Michigan at our family, closest thing we have to a family compound, a lot of that was coming back to me today as I was reflecting on, on all this. But this violence thing is really kind of the it's kind of the crux of a certain kind of resistance, I think. Because it's like I'm so afraid of doing violence. And I can point to events in my past and my childhood and whatnot that I, uh, where I can sort of draw It's like I can I can potentially connect that up with with where I am today, but it's like, again it's like it doesn't matter. It, it it doesn't really matter um, because identifying it is intellectual. But there is this fear, it's like a, it, what results from that sense of violence or a sense of I might do violence is a fear of who I am. How much fun is that to live with? How expressed can we be? when that's, when there's this kind of overarching and kind of ultimate fear. I think I've grown up with, um, I was, I, I was certainly taught not to respond violently. I was taught non-violent, that, that non-violent, that a non-violent resolution to my conflicts was the only way to go. And, and then, you know, eventually we all gravitated towards Quakerism as a, as a spiritual world. I wouldn't call myself a Quaker today, but my parents still spend time in Quaker meeting. And if I, I suppose if I had to at gunpoint pick, <laughs> pick a, a denomination or a, um, you know, a, a, a 
Christian spiritual tradition to follow piety uh, Quakerism which of course has a long history of nonviolence as a principle so I have this and I even I actually remember some some key moments in my early life when I responded nonviolently at least non-physically violently to someone kind of attacking me nothing like you know all that traumatic or brutal but but um, but then I felt kind of unacknowledged for my nonviolence by school administration or whoever and so it's like this double bind I don't want to do any violence which again I think is entirely hypothetical in my mind it's not actual violence that I'm in danger of it's it's the it's perceiving my effect as being violent and, but on the other hand I don't quite trust nonviolence because that doesn't seem to have worked so I'm kind of stuck Thanks for listening. <laughs> I feel like this is a very, a very therapy for Robin post, but, but unpacking this stuff is kind of the, you know, again, I don't know that identifying all of the origin and all of the history of it is that helpful but as but as I sit you know again what I my my uh, kind of outgoing intention with this post was to was to and still is to sit with the events that are coming up in my life however uncomfortable however unattractive however badly I might want to look away sit with them sit with what's kind of a key moment in my day in my whatever and view it from the point of view of this is a gift that's here to serve me you know knowing that and as stuff like this shows up Ugh. who wants this gift <laughs> but I do apparently so that's my struggle right now that's my that's the that's the edge for me right now is Can I get the can I get these shackles off enough to even survey the world? With enough clarity to say this is what I'm about. This is where I fit. This is what I desire. As opposed to a kind of insulated insulated and, and, and um, that's like there, 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 no movement can happen I can't move from that place so yeah where I
I am today. I appreciate you. Thank you. Much love. See you tomorrow.